Ugly Betty was an American primetime drama series that was based on the most popular Colombian telenovela called Yo Soy Betty La Fea, I Am Betty the Ugly, which was created by writer Fernando Gaitan in 1999. sitcom style series called Eco Moda in 2001 and was even the inspiration for an animated children's series called Betty Toons. The original telenovela was labeled into many languages for export to numerous international markets and new versions of the story that have been produced in about 18 countries as of 2012. The idea to bring an America Betty into the TV US market began in 2001 before Yo Soy Betty La Fea or Ugly Betty. The NBC network was planning to adapt the series as a half hour sitcom which will have been produced by Sony Pictures Television and written by Alexa Jones. But this project never made it. The project went through so many phases that it took another five years to get a pilot filmed as well as be on the air. While the American Betty pilot was still on the base to be produced, international adaptations such as in India, Turkey, Germany, Russia, Mexico, the Netherlands, and Spain, and all other countries all made it onto television screens before Ugly Betty came to America. These other international adaptations have had an extraordinary response or reception from other audience. Not until 2003, Ben Silversman's production company made a deal with Colombia's RCN television network for the adaptation's rights. Subsequently, Salma Hyatt production company joined the project ID in 2004 and helped to adapt it for ABC as an hour sitcom comedy. The new TV show was aired first on Fridays, but an impressive amount of positive response from the media and on the internet gave ABC the confidence to schedule Ugly Betty for Thursday's nights at 8 p.m. against the unbeatable CBS reality show called Survivor. Ugly Betty show received the best critical reviews as the largest viewing audience of any new series from that fall season in 2006. Ugly Betty was able to compete in rating against the reality show Survivor than any other series that had ever been put up versus this highly rated reality show. Speaking of characters from the TV show Ugly Betty, one of the main characters such as America Ferreira stars as Betty Suarez. She is called and known as the charming heroine of Ugly Betty. Ferreira is probably best known for her roles in Real Woman Half Curves, Lords of Duck Town, and the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants.
Also, another main character from the TV show Ugly Betty, it's Eric Matthews. Daniel, Med Daniel Meddy is played by Eric Matthews, who was previously best known for appearances in the film Cruel Intentions and Resident Evil, and as a mean dean on TV show The O.C. His father, Bradford, founder of Medi Publications Mode magazine, turned it over to Daniel Medi, the chief position at Mode magazine. His very first date with Melina Slatter, who had wanted the magazine's top position, challenged Daniel's authority. She clearly disliked Bradford's obvious act of favoritism towards Daniel. Daniel's reputation as a womanizer motivated his father, Bradford, to hire Betty to be his son's assistant because he was certain that Betty would offer no temptation to Daniel because she was not physically attractive. Temptation refers to the way people or places are portrayed, particularly in context of the media and how the audience views them. In the TV show Ugly Betty, the use of stereotypes and representation in TV shows Ugly Betty is evident. The way in how each actor or actress portrays each character in the show, it has a message that it can be received positive or negative to the audience. Particularly, if it is one who is from a minority group such as a woman, gay, lesbian, black, Asian or disabled audiences, can see for themselves how they are represented and portrayed in this show. For example, Daniel is the sex addict, Mark is the loud feminine gay male, teenager Justin has shown signs of coming out of the closet later on in the series. Ignacio, father of Betty, Hilda and Justin in the first season is an illegal immigrant from Mexico, living in Queens, New York. As for the woman, Amanda is the mean blonde receptionist who later finds out she was adopted as a child. The woman's role in society have always been viewed in terms of the husband guy goes out to work to earn money and provide and put food on the table, while the wife woman cooks, cleans and looks after the children at home. But the TV show Ugly Betty have represented that woman that can be seen in successful in the world of business. In the article Understanding Ugly Betty, Negotiating Race in a Culturally Mixed Text, explained the idea and how it's trying to bring a major topic in human society, which is beauty. Also, the article illustrates the stereotype of beauty as being size zero. In the case of Ugly Betty, she's both not a size zero, and she belongs from a minority group, this topic that is important in this society. Here it is a comment in the article from one of the scholars. Article ana analysis of transition in women's social status comparing Cinderella with Ugly Betty. It compares the American picture of beauty as Cinderella. Cinderella is known for being humble, not independent, but needed of a savior, which is the prince, the man. On the other hand, Betty's representation of beauty is opposite to Cinderella. She does not need a man, she's not so beautiful with a society, she's independent and smart. In fact, she does not need it of a prince, in this case Daniel, but Daniel needs her to be a better man and find himself. Ugly Betty combines elements of comedy, drama, and social commentary. The show engages the audience through the continuous themes related to gender and identity, as well as work, friendship, and honesty. 
In terms of representation, the show has been successful in highlighting and embracing the differences of gay culture, fashion, gendered, Hispanic culture, family, work, and friendship.